So it's been a bit of a landslide here. Bit of a drop. Hey! Almost went over. Almost. Hey, good morning, guys. Join me in Barry, Vale of Morgan. Where we're off to find a building that's more than 900 years old. Okay, so this is it, Barry Castle. Now this was uh, this was around at the turn of the 12th century, as we'll see in a minute when we look at the plaque. Now, this has been here for well over 900 years. So we can see it's mostly ruins now. Obviously not in operation use. So as we can see from the plaque there, the, at the end of the 16th century, it should have been what, the end of the 1500s, going into the 1600s, it was being used as a tavern. So it's um, it's quite mad to think that around 400 years ago, this was uh, this was a boozer. There would have been people in here getting drunk, getting rowdy, getting thrown out. And just as we come down from the castle, we got what's known as the Gorsed Stone Circles. Now what these circles are is, if your town has ever had an ice death fod here, then the stone circles are erected, and what the stone circles are is where the council of the ice death fod gather. If you don't know what an ice death fod is, then an ice death fod is an annual, annual festival of Welsh culture, Welsh arts, and Welsh language. So these would be in a lot of towns throughout Wales, a lot of different towns where these Gorthev stone circles are. So any town that has had a nice dead flood will have these circles. I don't think these are the exact circles from when there was a nice dead flood held in Barry in 1920. So again, some of this are quite a bit of history, over a hundred years old since uh, since Barry's had a ice dev fod here. Well, these would have been where the main council members of the ice dev had gathered, what well, are known as the bards, who uh, hold and take care of all the proceedings of the ice dev fod. Right guys, we're just off to meet a few of the guys now. We're going to meet up, have a hike on the, some of the, uh, the South Wales part of the Welsh coastal path. So some facts about the Welsh Coastal Path is um, it's over 807, well, it's pretty much exactly 870 miles long. And the unique thing about Wales and the Welsh Coastal Path is that Wales is the only country in the world to have a dedicated coastal path which spans the entirety of the coast around Wales. It's uh, quite unique because no other country in the world has got that. So yeah, I'm just walking through the park now off on my way to to meet a few of the friends i think there's about five or six of us so there is uh, is some company on the walk this time rather than the uh, last time where everyone dropped out and i was on my own but yeah we'll uh, we'll meet up and see how it goes so a fun fact for you about the the south wales coastal path is that uh, along the many beaches coast there is over three thousand shipwrecks so in 870 miles and three thousand shipwrecks I make that about, well, just under four shipwrecks per mile. Now, I've been on this part of the South Wales coast path before, and I'm, I'm not sure if there is really too many shipwrecks, but we'll we'll see see if we come across any. Now, the stretch of the path we're walking today is from Barry to Lantwit. I think it's about ten miles long, but we'll, we'll record it on the phone, see how long it actually is in terms of distance and length, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so I'm meeting the guys down at Barry Nat, which is just where I'm off to now, and we'll see you there. Yeah, see, we are just coming into the entrance of the nap. What a beautiful day. Uh. Gorgeous day. Hey, 
quite a few fishermen down here this morning, isn't it? There they are. Yeah, 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 there they are. What a little seedy point. There they are. How's it going, Eddie? Yeah, all good, man, are you? Not too bad, not too bad. Lovely. Beautiful day. <laughs> there we go, just starting at the nap then. It's about 13 miles, Brett says. I know I said it was originally 10, but it is about 13. <laughs> Good, man. Just at the top of the hill, coming up the nap. Oh, a view. Right, at the top of the hill, here we go. I believe this street's called Barry Parade, which is the most expensive street in Barry. You can see some of the houses with their balconies. But look, they got this view. I think we get some steps in a bit, rumour has it, they do gold coins below. There is steps just down here though, isn't there, that takes you down into uh, Port Kerry, Port Kerry yeah. yeah. Yeah, golden steps. And then oh. what's the caravan site after that? Fontagari, yeah. isn't it? Fontagari, yeah. There's a bar in there, isn't there? Yeah, it's banging as well. Are we stopping there, yeah? I, I'd say so, yeah. Well, stop for one and then carry on, is it? So just coming up down the stairs into Porth Kerry Park. And as we go through Porth Kerry Park, I think the next stop after that is Fontagari. Coming up this hill out of Porth Kerry. It's quite a steep one. And it's bloody boggy as well. Slippery. But on we go. <laughs> We're getting there. Almost to the top now. What birds is it up there? Like, birds oh, apparently. Mm. Here we are then, just coming into Fontagari Caravan Park. It's a bit strange bit to the path through here because I've looked it up online. And at points, it feels like you're literally just walking through someone's like front garden or back garden. Like, like you're walking right through their caravan plot. <laughs> this is the uh, the swimming pool on the campsite. It looks looks a little bit dirty, to be honest, doesn't it? So after coming out of that first caravan park, we're just coming round to Roos, and we'll slowly be going around Roos Point, which I believe is the southernmost point in mainland Wales. I think there's a sign there along the way as well, isn't there, Pete? There might be. Yeah. Got all the facts. I think when, yeah, I think when you get there, there's like this sign which just says you're now at, like, Roost Point, the most southern point in mainland Wales. That's interesting. It's just so much natural beauty all along the Welsh coastline. We're out for a nice little early walk. With the views like this, it is clouding over a bit. It was a nice day to start with, but... Uh, Still lovely. You can see it just through the trees, a little outlet in the sea. Oh, yeah, it's really bent, isn't it? Bit boggy this path now, isn't it? Oh, it's it's like going mud skiing through here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I've got a fucking all these I know. I got waterproofs on. But it's still fucking bogging. <laughs> yep, so here we are, here's the sign for it. Roost Point, the southernmost point on the mainland of Wales. Although the beach is all fenced off for some reason. Can't go on to the actual beach. But this is it, yeah, southernmost point on mainland Wales. What a beautiful day for it, eh? Just coming around through Roos. Just past that Roos point, which is the most southern, southern point in mainland Wales. Next stop is the Fontagari Caravan Park, where we're going to stop for some refreshments, eh? Getting the beers, is it, mate?
quarry here, isn't there? Yeah, it's the flat there, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, it's council did it. It looks like uh, like we got more ghost heads than circles here, but I don't really say. <laughs> says Roofs Point Land Reclamation, a new landscape by Blue Circle Industries PLC, 2000 AD. So this was erected in the year 2000. Almost 25 years old. The views for days along the coast, don't you? Bloody beautiful. I mean, this is just how nice the path is. You've got views like this all the way along it. Lovely summer's day. Well, we're not technically in summer year yet, but a lovely sunny day in there. Uh, it's just beautiful to walk along here. Now, if you are planning on walking this path this time of year, which is we're just doing it at the end of March, it is still very muddy, so come prepared for it. It's good for him things so we know we'll eat. So we all with our food and stuff. So just around the corner from where we come from after we just um, passed through, so coming up to Fontagarry Caravan Park, which by looks of it has got a lovely like beer garden on the back, which is where we're going to stop and have a bit, of, a bit of light refreshment. Yeah, then just stop for a beer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, it's about quarter past two now. We've, um, we've just had a stop off at Fontagarry Caravan Park. We had a nice pint. Everyone's had a little bit of food. Um, I think we're about to get going again now. Back on the trail to Lantwit. Yeah, here we are, back on the uh, back on the coastal path trail. This is the bit I was on about earlier, where it feels like you're literally walking through like someone's caravan patch. Literally walking through someone's garden, by the seems of it. What a place to have a caravan, though. Got lovely little balconies on the back. And then you got a view over there like that. So we're just coming out of Fontagary uh, Caravan Park now. You can just see in the distance there, the last caravan. We're, uh, I think it takes us down onto the beach here now. We'll be down on the beach in a minute. And then next up we'll be going round. Abathor power station, yeah. which I can just see in the distance now, which I'll show you now. Yeah, so there where the column is in the distance, which it looks a lot farther on camera than it actually is. It's a lot closer than that. That's where uh, Abathor power station is, and we'll be going around there in a minute. Yeah. Looks like it, yeah. Yeah, and this is the nature, is it, when you just come past Fontagarry Caravan Park. If you go down that way, then you can walk on that. No, this is the yeah, but... What? Well, this ends up down there. I think on the yeah. sign there... I reckon we can go down there. Yeah. On the yeah, sign there, can't. it's telling us to go down that way. Yeah, look. No, look at that one though. Down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, whilst coast path is that way. That's a public and that's footpath. A public footpath. I reckon we do that oh, way yeah, then. That one, in. I think, goes past the Blue Anchor pub. Yeah. We're going yeah, down Yeah, the Welsh, then. Welsh coastal path is all we want, isn't it? Isn't it, bite? <laughs> Down we go. Right. Yeah, here we go. We're going down now, and we'll be going past the nature as it and through it. Down these steep steps. Representation what have we found here? A baby. Jesus. It's a wee baby. Reckon Jesus would do well if that was him there. Already. Taking a job. How is it up there, Pete? It's lovely. 
better ground to walk on than all the mud down there. And you've got a lovely view. Some old abandoned building over there, just inland. We would go and see it, but I think um, I think a few of the guys got to get back soon. But. So I've just been told that these things have come out into the sea. They're man-made. Looks like cement. They go go out into the sea. And I've been told they're called groins. And they're put there to stop coastal erosion. Basically to stop the rocks all spreading along the coast. Doing more erosion and getting further down the coast to other beaches and eroding cliffs, causing landslides. Oh, it's going off road. So here we are. We just got to the. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I got the ball. Yeah, I just got to the edge of the corner of the coast we were looking at earlier, and there's Abathor Power Station. You know, all this glory. Keep off the bridge. I, I, don't, I think it means that one. So you'll walk across this one anyway. This bit by here by the power station is not the most uh, most scenic part of the route, is it? It is up here. It is up there though, apparently. <laughs> it's like we're in fucking the heart of Russia. <laughs> Deep, dark <laughs> Russia, it feels like. <laughs> Oh, that was a bit scary. Oh, you're going to jump in. Opened up again now. And a lot better view looking out of the sea there, but then you look behind you at the power station and it just looks so industrial. Like it's not, not a good view at all, that power station. Obviously this coastal path does that. It does have many beautiful spots, but this part by Abathor Power Station is not one of them. It's just a bit grim to look at, isn't it, boys? Alright, I'm going up there. I'm going up on the top now. Right, we're all up here on the top now. Everyone's walking it. We're all on the top. Still got this shitty power station as a view now, yeah, it's, it's not, it's, it looks way. like industrial nice Russia, way. but yeah, nice that way is so much nicer, so much nicer, especially on a nice sunny day, been a lovely day for hasn't it? Very little rain, well, like oh, there was a few, rain, yeah, a few I spots mean, of rain near the other. This year, 2024, just constant rain, has to rain every day. I make sure you look in that direction and not that one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bit wet down here. Yeah. Bit bogging, isn't it? Right. Hey. <laughs> On we go. So it turns out with our before power station, all these signs are all along saying caution, demolition in progress. So the place is basically derelict now and going to be knocked down. Well, I don't know if it's derelict, but I know uh, they're planning to actually knock it down. Come across this little hut here. 
You came out with like the perfect opportunity there when the camera just panned around. Someone's had a poo in there. <laughs> So all these blocks are lined up along the beach. I had the odd, uh, odd two of that have been made into like a sort of a beach art installation. Painted as dice, pretty cool. It's pretty cool to look at. Power station in the back there where we just came from, and here's a dice on the beach. Just as we come on a few meters from the dice back there, there's some that are painted as a Rubik's cube. It's a pretty cool little art piece. Guys, it's a bloody hot day. Very warm. We're about 14 kilometers in and the total walk's about 21. So I think we're about eight or nine miles of the 13 miles in. So yeah, pretty much just over two thirds of the way. It shouldn't be much longer to go. It's going well. Had a couple of stop offs on the way just to chill out. Glory estate, can't fault it. So now the path has taken us to a spot where we've got to walk across the beach. But it's not a sandy beach as you might think. It's a very rocky beach full of a lot of big rocks and pebbles. It's not the easiest terrain to walk across. You can't really complain too much, can you? Coming up off the beach now. Going on the dry land again. Looks like there's been a bit of a landslide here, bit of a drop. Not far left now to land to it. Look at that for a view. Uh, over the Bristol Channel, though. Can't do that. Right, so we just come through here and it's just. Oh, it's bogging. <laughs> Go on, I'll go first because I've got waterproofs. I've got waterproofs. Why are you scared? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. See how this goes. <laughs> it doesn't really matter to me because I've got waterproof boots. So. Okay. Really depends how deep it is though if you've got waterproof boots. Hey! Almost went over. Almost slipped. 